that went in the building. Philly in the house. Hey, yo, comment in the comment section after you look at this video in entirely that I'm about to show. Let me know your feelings on what you are about to see. And share this out if you can. Holla at your boy. Look, y'all. Every fucking day my baby daddy come here with one fucking meal for my child. But I have three other kids. We have one kid together, but he only want to come and bring one thing to McDonald's. But what about my other kids? How come you can't feed my other kids? mcdonald's though like that's bogus as hell like you're not gonna sit here and make my other kids feel left out and you're only bringing one child something to eat look there you go and i bet you he only got one thing in there i bet you he don't even i'm finna expose out of him so people can see how he really is it ain't more than it ain't more than enough food in that bag for everybody <laughs> what's up because i'm finna expose you what? Because that don't look that don't look enough for all my kids. <laughs> that don't look enough for all my kids. What is that? That's just one burger, one burger, burger one fry. What he like? What do you mean? Okay, what about my other kids? What about your other kids? Young, they ain't my kids. Okay, but them your kids' siblings though. What are you, what are you talking about? What are you them my kids, them your kids' siblings though. So what you? So he finna, my other kids finna be left out. You didn't feed them. You know I don't get my food stamps to the seven. But if you're trying to help out though, you're I'm not man, helping I'm out. I'm not trying to help, I'm trying to help my son. My but how are you helping your son when you're only getting care for, food for just him and not the other kids, his siblings? Lisa, you have Them are his siblings Lisa, though. He's not finna eat in front of all his other siblings and they're you're not eating no on McDonald's. Bring no, him, why do I gotta put... Bring him out to the car. I'll let you no, go. no, I'll no. Let He's let not go. finna eat that shit at all if you can't bring enough for everybody. Lisa, so you're telling me that I gotta bring... So when I buy my, bring my son food, I gotta bring your kids food too now? That's yes. Cool. You sound f***ing dumb. How is that sh dumb? You That's sound my, dumb. I you sound to, dumb. Where are they daddies at? Nobody told you to talk to mother. You have them other kids. Them, them your responsibility. They're not my responsibility. Okay, but if you're gonna bring one, you need to bring it for all. Lisa, How do that sh look that I'm letting one child eat McDonald's and all the rest of the kids can't eat no fucking McDonald's? So you know I get food stamps on the 11th. Three kids that ain't mine. Three kids that ain't mine. What yeah, like? they're his siblings. You knew what you was getting into when you had a baby with me. No, the I did. Yes, you did. Hey, you, you, you expect me to take care of all the kids? They're not my kids. Okay, but you still had a baby with me who have kids with other people. I still have other kids. Because I'm exposing you. Everybody think you're such a motherfucking good daddy. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're full of shit in this bullshit. You only come here with one fucking piece of food for one child. The child that's mine, silly. No, that's dumb that you can't feed the other kids. Don't feed nobody at all. Then. He can't take that shit. He can't eat it. Maybe if you had one or two, I can, like, you know, maybe. You got it's four, it's three extra kids. What the fuck? You all like going to my mother? Count, spend money on those, all those kids. Them, them, them not my kids. Them are your kids' siblings, though. Dumb. So that's, that's, that's what you gonna go with? That's the one you gonna Those go are your kids' siblings. They must get my, they my, so that means yeah. So, so don't, where, no, I didn't say you have to take care of them. You can bring them something to eat if you bring one something to eat. I bring them food every other day. What do you mean? Like, exactly, but you don't never bring food for the other ones. Please you please know please. I get my food stamps on they the 11th. Your babies. Okay, they but I'm are. saying. We share the same it's, it's, kid you, you, as well. Absolutely. So if you want to, you, if you feel like a feel away about eating, take him in the room and let him I'm not taking my kid or in the room. Or send him down to the car. He ain't even got, he ain't got to eat for his uh, brother and sister. He can come right out to the car and eat with me. No, no. You know what? Fine. Give it here. Thank you. Give it bro, here. Bro, like, Give it here. Like, Give it here. You sound stupid. He ain't eating this Thank you. Why would you just do that? Because you ain't bringing up for all the other you kids. Stupid. You stupid. 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 Selfish is a I, I like you're dumb as hell. That. You're dumb as hell. He not finna eat that. Shit. Anyway. Dumb. Take care of him anyway. Dumb. He not finna do that. You can't do it for all. Don't do it for none of them. Buy stupid. Thought I was finna take that shit today. Yeah, I had another thing for him today. No, he can't take it today. Man, I think that shit fucked up. Dumb. Now we all seen that clip. Let me start by saying. It's a lot to unpack here. The other kids ain't his, and I get you. To bring them food would have been a kind gesture. Cause this could cause division, honestly. Perpetuate a sibling rivalry. 
So it'd be good if there's accommodated. But with all that said, that man still ain't obligated. So this exposing is killing me. She recoiled like it's his responsibility. Not in all honestness. After you do your job, overtime is not a requirement. So all of this hostile raging is not a form of validation. It's like, what point is you making? Think he should be feeding your kids? Somebody feeding you wrong information. Not right, ain't true. I don't like that for you. Common senses. Wanna have several baby daddies? Well, it's consequences. Wicked dynamic. I wonder why our children get damaged. Clearly we lose. Nobody wins when a family feels. Good evening. It's Professor Seven. In the news today, R. Kelly has received 30 years in a federal prison for crimes he committed against young women. <clears throat> I remember um, me and Lord Jamar, we had a disagreement. He was kind of upset about the real Roxanne Shante movie on Netflix. And we were talking about, he said how he, men were di di um, displayed in the movie. And I'm like, growing up in Detroit, when I was at Cooley High, ninth grade, it used to be the big drug dealers that come, and they were older, talking to girls in the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th grade, whatever. Nobody would say anything, either because they were scared, because the, their drug dealers had a lot of guns and, you know, <laughs> ride and die people behind them. And in the Roxanne movie on Netflix, the guy was older than Roxanne Shante. He was a big drug dealer next to the mom, and she kind of clowned him where they were sitting down having eating. But the fact is, she didn't do really nothing. She didn't go press charges or stop or anything. You know, he had money. He was taking care of his daughter, and, you know, it happens in every neighborhood in this country, black neighborhood, poor neighborhoods, you know, under this served neighborhoods, poverty, uneducated where the drug dealers who run the neighborhood, who is the neighborhood that's dangerous, killing people, if they're messing with young girls, nobody says nothing. You know what I'm saying? Either the parents are on drugs or scared or, you know, just whatever the case may be, they might just be with it. Now, Willie D from the Ghetto Boys, I saw his story, but when Step Wynn showed me the video, I was like, oh, my God, of the girl getting mad at the guy. Man, this is going to go over for um, bringing food for his son, not the other kids. I've dated women with kids before uh, that had multiple kids. And I said in the video, I would never, ever, 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 ever have done it again. And I tell guys and young men, don't move in with no girl. Don't date no girl that got multiple kids with multiple baby daddies. Because it's not going to work out. You're going to exhaust all your resources and your energy for nothing. For nothing. Yeah, you can be a godly man and cordial and, oh, let's do food. But, man, the dad should do it. He's in jail, more than likely, or he ain't around, or he uneducated, ain't got no money. And it's just a repeated cycle. And you supposed to use your money. Like, if you get a pizza, a bucket of KFC chicken, of course, yeah, let the other kids share what next you got to hey, buy your son clothes you got to get the other son clothes or other kids clothes no that girl to me was really really reckless and ignorant with the things she was saying and i saw a lot of women was like oh he ain't shit because he not. no how was that how the, the man should be taking care of his kid the man is in jail dead or whatever you know his family should you know big brother almighty he was doing for nephew in the video um daughter and all the kids they were unappreciative they were unthankful like wouldn't even think like he owed them something and which he only supposed to did for my nephew's daughter not everyone else but every you, you try to do that it doesn't work out when you get older i mean the kid or, or after you break up with the girl or don't get married to the girl them kids ain't gonna call you on father's day they ain't gonna come and see if you, his siblings they ain't gonna come and make sure you okay they ain't going to ask about you. They ain't going to give a damn about you. Let's be real. It happens all the time. With the, you know, Of course, the women I've dated, since we're not dating no more, I don't expect their kids to call me or check on me 
or anything like that. But I do feel like it was a waste of energy, a waste of sometimes of my time and my money for somebody else's kid that it didn't work out, didn't get married, not with the girl anymore. Did it two or three times, man. That shit gets old. Excuse my language. I'm trying to not use the B word, the N word. If I do, forgive me, ladies and gentlemen. But it's just not worth it to me. Unfortunately, I know, that, and, and maybe it's because I feel that way because females now act like they don't want to date me because I have a daughter. Like, oh, your baby. I'm like, I'm not looking for someone to come up with money. Like, women who has kids, they want to, a man is financially stable so she can, he can help with the kids and shit. I don't need nobody to do nothing for me and Young Seven. I don't need no extra money in the house or nothing. We we fine. We doing good. Just as long as another female ain't bringing me. You can pay your way. You can help build. We can build together. You can help save together. Be a mentor or a, a positive figure to Young Seven. But, you know... I don't need no woman for I don't even do the child support. I remember uh, Maine and Milkman for Behind the Bar. You will do child support? Nah, why? I do it on my own, man. I don't have time to waste on that or be worried or waiting or trying to budget that money into my money and it don't come. And it just, I figure if they're going to do something for their child, they're going to do it. If not, forget them. Keep it moving. You got to take care of them regardless, even when they're in jail for not paying. So, you know. It is what it is. But I think that young lady was very wrong in so many ways. I don't think that, you know, a man should have to take care of it. Like child support. If you pay a child support and the woman you pay a child support has multiple kids by multiple daddies and maybe the other kids daddy did in jail or just don't pay as much as you, you better believe that your child support money is going towards them other kids in that house. Oh, that's messed up. So why should a woman be mad because he wants to just take care of my son with some food? But when I pay child support, it helps all the kids with the lights, a, a gas, food on the table. This particular one got food stamps on 11. She's not even managing her money or her food with her kids. Just another ignorant, just sorry, low life female from the hood, man, from the ghetto, uneducated, just sitting on their ass, throwing that pea valley out and let everybody run up in that pea valley and don't have no education, no skills, can't work, just sit on their butt waiting for money to come in every month from the government or child support. That's what we have now. And that's their life. And they're happy with their life being like that, which is sad. That's my take on it all. I'm not going to go off and really, you know, I just feel like women who have multiple kids just you know, have to deal with the situation they're in. Roe versus Wade is gone now, so we don't know. The population going to probably explode now. I, I don't know. I shouldn't be joking about that, but I'm just saying, who knows what these kids that have, what these mothers that have multiple baby daddies, and they weren't thinking about Roe and Wade. Roe versus Wade in the first place. So they were just dropping them off, this man. Dropping another one off, this man. Just dropping babies out. From each man, you know, it's just, it's sad, but that's how our community of black folks are. And this is what we deal with. And um, kudos to that man, because he didn't smack the crap out of her. I don't condone violence, but, but in a situation like that, I, I don't know if I would have smacked the phone or, or before she even threw the, the drink, I probably would have threw it at her. So I'm back in the old days. I probably would just did what I do did now. Been smart, got the freak in the car and drove away like you, ignorant. And I've dealt with women like that, man. It's so hard. You be looking at them like, where do you get your thinking from? Like, you really think I'm supposed to feed all your kids and I'm obligated? And I thought the other dude, Cash from Harlem, was a simp. And I got what he was saying in the song. You know, you don't want that civil rivalry, sibling rivalry. Or that jealousy, but all in all, when that kid's dad get old, the kid's dad is going to be the one who's going to take care of his dad, not his brothers and sisters. They're not going to give a damn about his dad, just like he ain't going to give a damn about their dad because, you know, whether he doing for them or not, that's just unfortunately how some people are taught. And if it's somebody under her, I can I can 
man, I can guarantee they're not going to be appreciative or thankful or humble about nothing that man do for them. Because she feel like he's obligated because that's his kid's sibling. Nah, not at all. Hey, thank you for the time. I know I went way over. I hope everybody have... Oh, this is this hump day. I don't even know what today's date is. Wednesday, June the 29th, 2022. It's your, it's your friend. It's your guy. It's the one who loves you. Professor Seven. Hey, love yourself. Love your kids. Love your family. Peace.